So actually, Kendra, um, can you see me? I can see. Well, you need better light, but I work with it. Um, um, so I actually met someone from your app. Okay. And she's actually here. Oh, you a lesbian? Yes. Okay, I told y'all the app is for everybody, <laughs> for straight people, gay people. I love it. Let me see this girl you met from the uh, app. Um. <laughs> she actually met your best friend. Who's my best? What? Well, who's my best friend? Let me see who said it was my best friend. I met him on the plane. She met him on the plane. What's his name? What's his name? Um, Dwight. Dwight. Oh, oh, yes. Dwight is a very good friend. Dwight actually texted me. Dwight texted her. me and told me he was on the plane. This is dope because shout out to Dwight. You guys will know Dwight because he is Monique's personal trainer. Like, he's the one that does all the dancing videos with Monique and he texted me, he said, I'm on a plane right now with a girl who says she met her girlfriend from your dating app. So I'm aware of you two. Let me see the girl. Come here. You gotta, she got, we gotta wait a second. Oh, she got put some clothes on? Yes. Okay, in the meantime, what is your name, sweetheart? Um, Hunter. So Hunter, Hunter on here, but Cleo. like her photo, how did it work? Like, how did you guys connect on the app? Um, um, we'll actually, be there tomorrow, Kendra. You're in Philly? No, no. we're, I'm, I'm in Baltimore. She's from Detroit. So now I guess I'm driving to the uh to uh Philly tomorrow. Yeah, to meet you. You're gonna drive to Philly? I guess so. I'm driving <laughs> no, to Philly. No, that's too. Wait, where are you at? In Baltimore? Yeah, I'm in Baltimore. Okay. okay. Well, listen, I still want to get the story. The cousins want to know what happened. So who liked who? And give me better light. I look How so okay. crazy, no, All right, hold on one second. <laughs> Is it oh, here we go. Look at Kendra up there clapping and cheering. And we've been seeing a lot of the results from the Kendra app. This is par for the course, you know, too big blowed out sisters. <laughs> Disgusting. I'm just observing their communication. All right. I'm trying to see through the madness and see if this could ever work. And last night we talked about communication. Like big step study here didn't even know she was going to be driving her newfound love to Philly. She just found out now as her girlfriend told Kendra. Like, we got to see stuff like that causes issues. They about to get off the phone. Steps are going to be like, I didn't know we was going to Philly. I didn't know till you told Kendra. Now they sitting there fighting. You know, now somebody got to try to eat some kuda kata to make somebody happy. <laughs> this is wild. Here we go. That are like I told you how the app works. It works if you work. work. Oh. So this better like... This is bad light. Okay, so Hunter, tell me what happened. Did you like her photo? Did she like your photo? How did y'all connect? So I liked her photo. So um, you want to put some clothes on? Anyways, um, I liked her photo. So you have. So I'm a Taurus. My birthday is the 24th of April, and I actually just turned 40 on the 24th of April. And when you started your app on May 8th, I put myself on it because I've been watching you for a while. <laughs> um and then what about a few days later she yeah. came on she was on but the app. i i only got on your app i look i can't get on there i look crazy but i only got on your app because you said that your lives were going to be on the app yes they, so, we'll be on the app eventually right so, so eventually so the I, show will be on the app right so i didn't even get on the app to even find love it was literally just to see you kendra that, that was it oh well thank you but while you had the app, she liked your profile and you end up finding love. Right. That's so weird. <laughs> so how long have y'all been dating for now? Since when? Um the fifteenth. Well, not dating. Not dating. We've been dating. talking since like the fifteenth yeah. of May. Yeah. Okay. So and where do you live? Okay, and where do you what's your name, sweetheart? My name is Ashley. And where do you live, baby girl? Detroit. Okay, you live in Baltimore? Yes. So wait a minute. So are are you gonna move? One of us is going to move, yes. Woo! Oh, Hunter, Hunter is about that. Hunter, you, you're serious, <laughs> I can tell. Hunter, like, this is my wife. I just want y'all to know she might be on the app, but she's not available. No more. Listen, these are 40-year-old women. And the, the woman in, that don't want to come on camera, it's more than likely she got a couple kids. And this is, y'all know what this is. This is a 40-year-old woman. He's sticking her tongue out.
Thank you. Got to give that perspective. That character there that's got the tattoos, that's acting like a big, strong boy is, you know, a couple years away from menopause as far as we understand. That's a woman. She's going through the changes of life. Like I, That's got to be tough, ladies. We understand y'all are amazing, but how are you going to still try to uphold your masculine frame and you're going through, through menopause? Like, that's got to be tough. Like, I mean... <laughs> Ali, like you going through it, you going through the changes as a woman, and you like, Urgh. and like I said, this is more the Kendra madness. But we're going to meet you though, Kendra. I look crazy. I don't know why she called right, right now. Well, yes, okay, so yes, I'm in Philly. I'm at Tasty Soul Food Restaurant for the Mix and Mingo, also speed dating. But I love that you guys are coming, and people have been asking if I'm married. Yes, just come. That's why we have a Mix and Mingo because that's the moment you can just be there. We can hang out. I know I do an RSVP to get a gauge of the amount of people, but here's the secret. If you come, you get in. It's that serious. It's, it's, I'm letting anybody in. If you my cousin, you my cousin, bring your ass. It's like a family reunion. So I can't wait to meet y'all in person. They do want to see you, boo. Um, come on. Come on. Yes. Oh, she embarrassed. I'm going to wait till tomorrow. Okay, we'll wait till tomorrow. We'll wait till tomorrow and show your pretty self off tomorrow. <laughs> Annoying. Okay, well, listen, Hunter, Hunter, I can't wait to meet you too. I can tell. I don't want no problems with you, Hunter. Why? Why? You know, what? You mean? It seems like I don't want no problems. You say you're from Detroit? No, I'm not from Detroit. I'm from New York, but I live here. I'm from Mar uh, I've been living in Maryland for like 11 years. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought y'all said Detroit. I don't, I don't got no problems with Detroit. Deshaun was the only person I had a problem with in Detroit, and that made that was enough for me to know. I don't want to mess with nobody from Detroit. All right. Well, okay. All right. So I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. Y'all coming down to the event? Yes. yes. I guess okay. yes. I'll be driving. I'll see y'all tomorrow in person. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, baby. So, so the woman didn't want to come on camera. She's a, is she ashamed or what? Yeah, she ashamed because she know her baby daddy's going to clown her. That's why she like, I do it tomorrow. Y'all got to understand something. Like if she was proud, loud and proud of her new girlfriend, boyfriend thing, she would have came on camera. Pure embarrassment. She know nug nigga and waiting in the wind. Like, let's see. They they could hear a voice. They didn't heard the rumors, but they want to see them on camera together so they could screenshot it and go crazy on social media. You know what it is. That's if she got baby daddies. <laughs> that part. So we're gonna get them some space air, let them <laughs> naturally. <laughs> we got us the gun line. Tell them about the gun line, boss. I hope you find some peace of mind. 